Oh, I'm quite excited. I, I can't wait. This will be so much fun. Oh, I've done it before. It's a bit boring, really. How can this be boring? What we're going to do right now is so cool. Have you done it before? Uh, no. Then you don't know. Oh, you know, a friend of mine did this last year. He told me it was rubbish. So you haven't done it then? Oh, no, but, you know, I looked at all the reviews online and they say it's not worth it. Yet what else is there to do? I mean, what do you like to kill? Oh, um, teeny tiny little tattoo teddy bears. Teeny little tiny little tattoo teddy bears? Yeah, yeah, they mass produce them on this planet, right? You rush around and you squish them in these giant boots. That sounds absolutely disgusting. No, it's great. You, you get to keep the boots and everything. Oh, look, there's a bloke in charge. <laughs> look at his okay. axes. It's bizarre. Eyes on, on me, all ears near to me, all nostrils take a great big gulp with your nasal passages because you need to be listening to what I'm going to say today. Right, well, all together, great. So, this is, as you know, Hunt R Us, not Hunt Russ. Last week, someone called Russ, he got beaten up by the laser guns we're just handing out to you now. So don't do that. Uh, he was only an intern, so it doesn't matter. OK, so who are we here to hunt? I think you know. Witches. Now, I must point out this is that these, they are real witches, not, not fake witches, not local actors. We got dressed up with, with hats and, and pointy noses and pointy heads. We were accused of doing that in the early days, We've never done that, and if we did, uh, it, it, it was a, a mistake. So, that aside, in a moment, we will be, be beaming you down to planet Earth. If you've never been, it's quite damp in some places. About 70% of it is damp. We'll try and avoid that area if you can. Uh, we're going to just sort of drop you in with the... Uh, what beam have we got on the Star Blazer beam? The Star Blazer beam, perfectly good, 99%. It usually works 1%. You might come back here as a fish. Okay. So, that aside, uh, what do you want to do? Well, it's up to you. All the options are there. You can uh, you can kill a witch. You can huggle a witch. You can have a sandwich. Only kidding. Just a little joke there. What I must tell you is none of the humans know they've got witches on the planet. Okay. What we do is we look up the time taxi technology which I'm just doing for you now. So, for example, uh, in the area of England or Australia, that's uh, where I bought the accent from. I know it kind of sounds a bit like a bit of both. Uh, so in uh, the UK, uh, Uk, as it's called, uh, there... Oh, sorry, I, I thought there was a, a time taxi there. Uh, it's... It's registering, but not registering. Ah, oh, OK. I'll see if there's any uh, wand activity. No, no. No one... Oh, well, one's broken, and it's reforming itself over and over. Let's let's not do that. Let's not go there. OK, so that aside, we'll just avoid that area. OK, can you just... Frank, can you just turn that bit off? OK, so, anyway. So, what I want you to do now is get a partner together and uh, kiss them and huggle them and make sure they have a really good time. No, not that much. <laughs> Only kidding. What I'm saying is, uh, take a partner, hold a hand, that's how the beam tech works, and off you go now to planet Earth, come back with whatever bits of which you can find, and then whoever has the, the most impressive uh, magic user, then they will be scaled up here. You can see the scale on one of there, and uh, that'll tell you uh, what price you're going to win. Right. Happy wish hunting, and I wish you, you had lots of fun. Here we go! Right, I think they've gone. What the hell was all that about? I'm going to look. Ark, time taxi, broken. Who, who breaks the time taxi? I said, it says the witch broke the ta time taxi. Well, are we... Um, where is she now? She's being lifted away by the who? By the gods of witchcraft. The rich, rich craft. I can't get the hang of this accent. Okay, I've landed on Earth. This is so much fun. It's exciting, and I shouldn't be on my own, should I? I, I was just holding hands with my partner. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me on this radio? Hello? Um, so, what? Do I, do I keep killing witches? Do I shoot witches? What should I do now? 
Oh. Oh. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Are you, um, uh, a human? Human? Yeah. I'm a Mars being. I'm looking for another Mars being. But this is Earth, isn't it? Uh, um, I don't know much about humans. She's a female. I know that's complicated for you humans nowadays. I- I'm not a human. I've gone on holiday by mistake on the planet Earth. I mean, not by mistake, but uh, I've just come to kill witches for fun. Kill witches? Oh, Clavdus used to do that. As soon as we find him, I wonder how he got on. And, uh, uh, can you help me? You help me, and I'll help you. Oh, very well. Um, what is it that you need? I need that gun of yours. I say need. I'm going to take it. Don't, don't. It only operates on my fingertips. You'll explode. I'll believe that when I see it. I've seen it. Doctor Witch featured Elliot Stewart as Excited Alien Tourist 1 and Excited Alien Tourist 2, the semi-Australian alien tour guide, and Blab Clips, the Mars Bee. It was written by Elliot Stewart and is an Invisible Commission's production.